let's discuss the Python math module. So basic math can be done with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, but for more advanced math operations such as square root, Python provides a standard math module. And a module in Python is code that's located in another file. And to import the module for use within your own Python file or an interactive interpreter, you just add an import statement at the top of your file. For example, if you wanted to use the math module in your Python program, just simply add import math at the top of your program. The math module provides a lot of functions which are operations that you can use in your program such as sqrt for square root or pow for the power of one number to the other. And using the function is referred to as a function call. So anytime you're using the, the square root function or the pow function, you're calling the function. And the data that's passed to the function is called an argument. And some functions could have multiple arguments such as math.pow2,3, which, which will give you two to the third power. Here's a list of some of the math module functions. So in the table on the left, we have numbers and theoretic math functions. And some of the functions are seal for um, like the ceiling function, rounding a value up. There's the fabs function for the absolute value, factorial to get the factorial of a number, such as, for example, four factorial is four times three times two times one. There's the floor function to round a value down, f mod to get the remainder of division. There's f sum to get a floating point sum of a range or array or list. And the table on the right shows exponential power and logarithmic math functions. There's exp for exponential functions. There's log for natural logarithm with optional base and the pow function, which is x raised to the power of y and the square root, which gives you the square root of x, if x is your argument. And here's some more math module functions and also a few constants. The table on the left shows the trigonometric math functions. There's one for arc cosine, which is a cos, a sin is the arc sine, a tan is the arc tangent, a tan two is arc tangent with two parameters, cos is for cosine, cos h is the hyperbolic cosine, there's the degrees function to convert radians to degrees, the hypot function, which is the length of vector from origin, the radians function to convert degrees to radians, there's sin for the sine, sin h for the hyperbolic sine, tan for tangent. I mean, I don't know what a lot of these mean, but if you are a math major, then I'm sure you know these better than I am, but just know that they're there if you ever need to use them. And for some more complex math functions, the table on the upper right corner shows the gamma function and the ERF for the error function. And, and what I think is very useful are these constant math values. You could just say math.e to get the value of e or math.pi to get the value of pi. Let's try out a few of these math module functions in Python. Let's test out some of these math module functions. All right, so first thing let's do, let's create a variable called var and assign that to square root of 25. Let's see if that's gonna work. And it won't, but I'm gonna show you why in a second. All right, so it says square root is not defined. Okay, so that's because it comes from the math module. So let's type math in front of that. Math.square root. Is that going to work? It's giving me a little error. Same problem. So don't forget, you have to import it first in order to be able to use it in your Python program. Import math. Up, that error goes away. Square root of 25 is 5.0. All right, looking good. Let's try this some more stuff. Var2 is math.pow of, let's say, 3 to the fourth power. Let's print out var2. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Change that to a 2. That's 81. Let's try out something else. Var3 is math. 
dot. And notice after you type the dot, it gives you a list of all the functions that are available. So you don't even have to like look up, look these up. It's all built in. Um, that's a nice feature about PyCharm is that it gives you some kind of autocomplete where you can kind of choose what you want to do. There's a lot of different stuff in there. Let's just pick a random one. The ceiling. Okay, that's going to round it up, right? 7.1. Thinking that should give you 8, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 8. So it just rounds it up. And just to see a couple other things, let's try out some of the constants. Print math.py. Oops, not print, but print and print math.e. Just see what these look like. And that, there's the value of pi, and that's the value of e. Pi is 3.14, e is 2.71. So as you can see, using these math module functions is relatively pretty easy.